Good afternoon, Mr. Meyer. It's Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy. I want to make this video for you to show you more about this brand new 2019 Forest River Vibe 26RK. So the great thing about the Vibes, they are fiberglass exterior. The most important parts are framed out with aluminum, whereas the rest is wood. So it's very light, very affordable, as I believe we came to an agreement on the numbers earlier. So I want to go through this and show you uh, what makes the Vibe so great compared to everything else that's on the market. So starting out up front, this RV does come with an electric tongue jack. Our dealership typically decks these RVs out with every available package that we get the most value. So it does have an LED light here to help you to hook and unhook in all lighting conditions. All I have to do is press this button, it'll raise and lower itself. If you like to look at worst case scenario as I do, it does have a manual override. All you have to do is unscrew this and you have access to the drive bolt there. That way you can raise and lower your RV uh, even in a worst case scenario. This RV does have two 20 pound propane tanks, so you have plenty of juice for a weekend getaway. Great thing about our dealership is that we will, um, whenever we make an RV ready, if we can earn your business, we will fill the propane tanks. We will install a deep cycle interstate marine battery right here. So the great thing about interstate batteries, they're available nationwide for exchange in case you ever run into an issue. Um, but they are a really high quality battery that should last you for a long time. Uh, so anyway, we'll wash the detail it, fill the propane tanks, put a battery on there. Um, our technicians will do a full system check and they'll spend a good hour with you and show you how everything works. This RV does have LED lights in the cap as well to give you extra lighting no matter where you are. Uh, the great thing is this is a diamond plate. It protects your RV from rocks and debris when you go down the road. So on these new model vibes, they got smart. What they did was they added magnets on the doors instead of using the old plastic clips like they did before. So it's really easy to open with one, uh, with one hand. If you forget that your doors, you know, latch with the plastic, um, it can break off. But with magnets, you don't have to worry about it. As we can see here in the large pass-through storage, uh, you can see the aluminum framing there. And um, it's just a really huge storage compartment. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. There's also LED lights to help you uh, see your belongings at night. This RV is also prepped for solar panels. So you can charge a battery and keep your lights on with the solar panels. Um, honestly, you know, basically for the cost of, you know, where solar panels are at today, you can uh, get a generator and run this whole RV off of a generator for more or less the same price as those solar panels. So that's what I would recommend. I know it's kind of crazy, but I like to bring this up. Uh, not all RVs come with stabilizer jacks. This one does. I don't know why a dealership would order an RV without stabilizers, but some places do. So this RV does have four manual jacks. Uh, they are not electric, but you know, there's some pros and cons between the two. Really easy thing to do is just to get a drill with a three quarter inch bit. You can more reliably and quickly raise and lower these jacks uh, with that drill. So that's an easy workaround. Coming over here to the entrance door, great thing about this RV is that it does have a friction hinge door. So you don't have a plastic latch on the door, you don't have a plastic latch on the wall. Uh, if it's windy, it'll just easily open itself. You don't have to worry about those breaking or replacing the pneumatic storm door type uh, deal like older RVs had. Also, this RV uh, does have a screen door here. So on a beautiful day like today, if you wanna get cross ventilation going, you can open the windows, turn on the fan inside and um, not let any bugs in because it does have a slider here. So that really comes in handy if you don't want to uh, you know, use electricity or if you're going dry camping off the grid. This RV also has an extra large door handle. Some RVs just have a tiny little plastic handle right there, but this one has a huge handle. It has three folding positions, so you can fold it this way this way and that way while traveling. So in addition to the uh, Lippert step above steps or the solid steps rather, you know, people love these because they're just like fifth wheel uh, steps. So you have a really low point of entry for people of all ages to get in and out. Uh, they are aluminum, so they are very lightweight and resistant to rust. Um, they have feet that are adjustable to different ground heights. So no matter where you're at, uh, you can get solid entrance into your RV. Also on the outside, this RV does have a very large electric awning with LED lights. So you can illuminate your campground, see what's going on, even if it's dark at night. And that RV, or excuse me, the awning almost covers the entire length of the RV, so it's just a huge awning. Uh, this RV has one slide, which is on the other side, so that does not um, intervene with your sitting space out here. Also, it has marine grade speakers <clears throat> that work with the radio inside, so you can play music just inside or just outside or both. Uh, so they'll last for a really long time. It gives you very good quality audio, uh, considering that they are marine grade. 
and they're resistant to uh, rain and stuff like that. Also, the furnace exhaust is located right here. So the great thing is if it's chilly outside and you have the uh, propane furnace running, you can stand next to this and get a little bit of warmth. Also, right over here, you have uh, power connections and cable. So if you want to hook up a TV outside and watch the game, you can do that. This RV also has a unique outdoor kitchen. Uh, this one has a pretty good sized refrigerator here, so you have easy access to your beverages. And also, it has a outside shower right here. And you also have a uh, removable sink right here as well. And then you have a space uh, to put a grill right here too. So the vibes do it a little bit different, but that's pretty cool. Very compact, very space efficient. And also on the back, very conveniently located is your satellite connection, cable connection. Uh, this is the bumper that holds the spare tire in case you ever need it. You can also put your sewer hose inside of this bumper. That way you don't have to uh, get your storage dirty. Uh, this is a rear kitchen, of course, so this is the exhaust uh, for the range hood that actually works. It's not just there for looks. Unfortunately, with some RVs, they are not functional, but ours is. This RV is also prepped for a backup camera as well. Backup cameras can save lives. They are recommended. And if one outdoor shower wasn't enough, this one has two. So if you're at the beach, um, you can wash your feet off before you go inside so you don't trick sand all inside your RV. And this has hot and cold water. This RV has two AC, so it is 50 amp service. So, you know, keeping cool during the Texas summer is no problem. Um, here is the slide right here, the single slide. And right over here, it does have a black tank flush. Uh, that's really great that they included standard. They didn't include it on some of their other models. So whenever your sewer tank is full, all you have to do is dump it, hook up a water hose, turn the water on. The built-in nozzles will clean the tank out for you so you do not have to get a wand and stick it down the toilet or do the old ice trick where everything shakes loose. This is the most efficient way to do it. Um, it reduces smell, gives you more accurate tank readings. Also, this is the city water connection. So for pressurized water, you hook up right here for continuous water supply. And these are some dump stations right here for the gray and black tank. And this is the six gallon rapid heat gas and electric water heater. So as long as you have propane or electricity, you can always have hot water. <clears throat> and this is the fresh water connection. So if you want to go off the grid, you can take potable water with you. It does have a water pump on board. So you just flip the pump on whenever you're using that. And this is, whoops. This is a built-in induction cooktop, so that will go inside of the outdoor kitchen there. Um, this is a little bit different. This is a brand new model, so um, I guess they changed that up a little bit. But this is the other side of the pass-through storage. All right, now we can go inside. Okay, so let me give you a 360 view here. Alrighty, so here we are inside of the Vibe 26RK. Uh, this one includes a very large TV. Uh, I want to say this one's probably about 50 inches, uh, so that's really nice. And let's see, what's behind here? Uh, it is on a swivel, so you can adjust it, uh, you know, no matter where you're sitting. You can get a very good uh, viewing angle. Has a huge entertainment center, so uh, you could put uh, you know any gaming consoles you want on here, or like a netbook, a laptop. You know you can put up there if you want to hook it up to the TV. This is the Furion all-in-one radio, so it's AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, auxiliary input, headphone output, USB, so you can play nearly anything through it. This one has a built-in soundbar too, so if you like to listen to music as much as I do and, and movies and stuff like that, that definitely will help. Um, it has zones one and two, so one is inside, two is outside. You can play just in, just out, or both. Also, a great thing about this RV is that it does have an electric fireplace, so it's not like we'll need it much in Texas, but you know, if you're up north, um, you can stay warm with the electric fireplace. That way you do not have to use your propane furnace, uh, because of course propane does cost money, but this will definitely help you when you're in colder temperatures. And then also during the summer, just to add a little ambiance, you can have the light show on, and if you press this button right here, it'll change different colors. It's really nice, uh, it gives it a very, very cool effect. So here is the large slide. It's got a tri-fold sleeper couch, so you could easily sleep two adults on there. It's very plushy and comfortable. Uh, 
and you do also have a uh, four-seater dinette uh, that will also turn into a bed so you can really sleep six in here even though it is not a bunkhouse model so the whole family can sit here enjoy a game or take a nap whatever you want to do also it's got huge storage it goes all the way back on both sides um, I like this little light right here that's a really nice little touch um, it does have pancake LED lights all throughout so the great thing is they'll last a lifetime they use less power and generate less heat right over here we have some storage little pantry area and more over here I really like the accents they have these black uh, door handles so it's just a really modern uh, super modern design with these new ones and this is the uh, residential size refrigerator right here so plenty of room there um, you know for a week or even a weekend it does have a freezer as well so just plenty of room for for food uh, this is the Furion uh, residential power microwave so the great thing is it does have a carousel to evenly heat your food. It is residential power, so it is stronger versus our competitors. Uh, this is the chef's kitchen. So I really like the design of the range hood right here. So you have the tactile type buttons for the light and uh, the fan that will vent outside. And I really like, you know, if you can see the color, that backsplash is really neat. I really like the color scheme in this one. And then also, really great thing, this is a brand new Furion stove and oven. So you have a glass insert here to give you extra counter space when you're prepping. And it's a three burner cooktop, not a four burner like the old style. So you do not need any specialty pots and pans, any regular kind will work. Now the really important thing here is it has igniters on the stove top and it has igniters on the oven as well, uh, which is much safer versus lighting it manually. So a lot of RVs nowadays don't have that, but this one does. And then also you have a huge storage compartment underneath here for pots and pans awesome and let's see also um, the cabinetry on these is really nice uh, it's got a really nice residential feel I really like uh, the design of these and they are the hidden hinge cabinets as well which is an upgrade tons of storage over here huge just huge counter space to work with so you could really, you know, prepare a feast in here if you wanted to and not have any shortage of uh, storage space or counter space. And right over here we have the residential style faucet. Uh, this makes it easier to wash dishes. It's more of a, I would say like a cafeteria type heavy duty <laughs> sink. Uh, they have this little doohickey here to help you uh, keep dishes dry, stuff like that. Uh, I, know, I know I've had people say they take these out of their RV and, you know, put them in their house just because they're kind of fun to, to mess with. Uh, and then also, this is a one-piece undermount stainless steel sink. So the great thing is, um, if you you know are cleaning off your counter, there's no lip here to capture any debris. It makes it really easy to clean. Uh, also, the stainless steel is not going to capture bacteria. It's more sanitary. It's not going to stain with coffee or soda either. Um, you do have a lot of drawers here as well for all your uh, utensils, stuff like that. Really great storage everywhere with a rear kitchen, of course. Um, also you have a skylight right here. I mean the windows really open this RV up. I mean it just is so bright and open in here which is really nice. Um, and then you know if you want to uh, get a little bit more privacy or just keep it cooler they have these uh, accordion style blinds which are much easier to open and close versus the old style. And let's see, over here you do have two power connections by the recliners, so if you need to keep your phone charged, stuff like that, that's convenient. Uh, these are designer recliners, super duper comfortable. Um, they are freestanding, so you can move them around wherever you want. Uh, it does have straps by the window, that way whenever you're traveling it's not going to fly everywhere. Um, really great thing that I'm glad to see is that on the Vibes they did change their ACs to the Coleman ACs. So these are made in America. Getting parts are really easy. Their warranty process is really easy. Uh, this RV is 15 amp service, so this is the main AC. It's 15... Uh, 15,000 BTUs. The secondary is 13,500. You have these vents here you can open and close. If you're, you know, if everybody's sitting in here, you can have this open. It's a quick dump. It drops all the cold air here. If you keep it closed, it circulates more evenly through the high efficiency ducts that are located throughout the RV right there. Uh, for the furnace, you do have one furnace uh, vent right there, the black cap. Uh, there's also one in the pantry over here. And I'm sure as we go through, we'll find more around here. And right over here, 
uh, is the main control board. So you have control for the awning, control for the slide, uh, water pump, switching the water heater, uh, power source, lights, and also monitoring for the tanks, battery, uh, fresh tank, black tank, and the two gray tanks. That way you know when you have to dump your tanks. Uh, so coming up to the main bedroom over here, Really great thing about the Vibes is that they come standard with upgraded mattresses. This mattress retails for about $800, a Denver mattress. So as most people know, RV mattresses are not traditionally super comfortable, but with the Vibe, um, they recognize customer demand. Uh, so you know, whenever you're spending over $20,000 on an RV, you don't wanna have to go out and buy a mattress. So this one is very comfortable compared to others that are out there. Here we have the secondary AC. If you like to sleep cold like I do, this is right above the bed. It'll drop all the cold air right here and it looks like you do have uh, a little bit of control over the flow but that is right above the bed um, you do have a ward over here on the left side to hang close uh, there's also storage overhead uh, you have a nice little um, shelf area here you know to put food and drink stuff like that in your phones uh, there's two USB chargers on the wall two standard chargers and also right here do you have storage underneath the bed got those cool little cubbies there which is pretty unique and you also have uh, USB and standard charges right here and also another furnace uh, vent here's the ward to hang your clothes and then what's really nifty they got smart again you actually have a closet right over here so extra space to hang clothes everything like that and coming over here to the bathroom. This one has a really great size bathroom. You have plenty of room to change, do everything that you need to do. Um, this is a pretty unique setup because they have the closet over there. So you have this little uh, storage area here and you have a really nice modern looking window, or excuse me, mirror. Uh, you have two grounded power connections for a blow dryer, trimmer, whatever you need. Also a little uh, holder for a hand towel and got a little bit of space right there if you want to put a trash can something like that and then also underneath the sink you do have a little bit of storage uh, right over here this uh, comes with it so you know your um, toiletry stuff like that hanging towels and clothes that comes with it so that's pretty pretty unique um, also right over here this is the vent so you know uh, during the summer before you depart to your destination if you have this open and have the fan on and have a window open it'll keep it 15 to 20 degrees cooler in here versus not having it that way whenever you arrive to your destination your ACs don't have to work as hard however because you have two ACs I really don't think that um, it would take too long to cool down uh, now this shower is pretty different um, this one has this type of uh, this type of curtain which is really neat. I feel like I'm in the future or something. So that's pretty different, uh, but it just rolls right in. But hey, that's uh, I guess better than having a glass shower door or the regular type, so that's pretty neat. Um, let me go ahead and stand in here so I can show you. I'm about six feet tall and I still have plenty of headroom in here uh, with the skylight. So really most people shouldn't have a problem fitting in the shower. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Well, okay, Mr. Meyer Guinness Nico from Cliff Jones RV over here in Sealy, Texas. I want to make this video for you, show you this Vibe 26RK. Uh, we have a really fantastic price. You know, we're discounting this um, a lot more versus what we have posted online. We would definitely love to earn your business. I know that price is important. We have you, you know, basically right where you want to be on the numbers from what I understand. Now, most importantly, uh, when it comes to service after the sale, we do not have a five or six month waiting period like some of the, uh, some of the dealerships. If you ask around, call around. I know some places, unfortunately, they'll schedule an appointment to work on your RV. They won't even touch it for a month. So we're a, you know, small town dealership. We don't have space to just store RVs for that long. So we we have more people working in service than in sales, which I really don't think a lot of dealerships can say. But anytime you need something, we will turn around very quickly. We also do offer you a complimentary 32 point inspection once a year if you purchase a new RV from us. Other places can charge you hundreds up to a thousand dollars for the same thing that we do as a courtesy uh, to make you aware of any preventive maintenance 
that you might need. So if you have your RV for five years, that's $5,000 in your pocket. We are also members of the Route 66 network. It's the largest RV network in the country. We have 150 locations throughout the U.S. and Canada. So, you know, if you're close to us, uh, we're going to be the best dealership to come back to for service. But if you're out on the road, uh, we're basically everywhere but Alaska. So I know there's a lot of extended warranty programs out there and stuff like that. But what makes ours different is that you have to be asked to join. You can't just pay for a subscription and join. So we had to be uh, vetted by three members of our peers before we joined this network. They are all about quality, not quantity. So with all that being said, sir, please give me a call if you have any questions. 979-253-2611. Thank you, Mr. Meyer.